Hey guys, it's Denise and I am back in front of my DIY Christmas tree that's a little lopsided. You know, she tipsy like I'm trying to get. Uh, anyway, today's video is going to be my Christmas book haul. So before I show you all the goodies that I got in the month of December, because I participated in quite a lot of gift exchanges, <laughs> bookish gift exchanges, uh, I just want to apologize. It's been a few weeks since I put up a video. Y'all know I'm inconsistent when I work. On top of that, iMovie has been acting a donkey. So, you guys know. My computer over the shit. And it's been giving me issues for about three years. Also, my niece has been with me for all the Christmas break. She goes home Saturday. So, she'll probably be in the background. You can probably hear her yelling and singing Dr. McStuffins or Moana or flipping off the bed. I don't know. Now that I got this very long introduction out the way, let me show you guys what you came here to see. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you the books and the bookmarks that I received from Tracy over at Vampire Tracy for Christmas. And Tracy, oh my god, you are just an angel. On top of all the stuff that you give me, you never even said anything. And I've been cheating you for four years. She sends me books for my birthday and books for Christmas. And I only send her books at Christmas time. Her birthday is at Christmas time, so I I feel like I'm cheating her. So don't worry, I'm going to remedy this, and you're going to get some extra books. So, I don't know why it just occurred to me, like, ten minutes ago. I don't know why. Forgive me, Tracy. I love you to pieces, and you're the best, because I would have been like, hey, hey, bitch. Look. <laughs> but she she's not like that. Only me. I'm going to show you the bookmarks that she sent me <laughs> for Christmas. She has been hooking me up with bookmarks for, like, three years now. I personally have not bought a bookmark for myself in about two years because Tracy sends me all kind of bookmarks every year for my birthday and for Christmas. Some bookmarks. I have so many that when I participate in these swaps that I show you, I always send somebody some bookmarks because I have so many of them. I still have probably like 50 bookmarks that she sent me over the last four years because they come in a big batch like she like I'm about to show you now. Um, First up, she sent me some Harry Potter magnetized bookmarks, and she, they're all magnetized, which is how I like them. I prefer magnetized bookmarks all of a sudden now, and it's all because of Tracy, but I, I got the Hogwarts houses and, you know, these little pets. That I've only ever read book one in the Harry Potter series. My goal this, for 2018 is to actually read more of Harry Potter. You know, watching the movies counts, but then it doesn't count when you're a book lover. Um, also, she sent me... Bella, Jacob, and Edward. So cute. And then finally, my favorite of all the bookmarks I received so far. And it is three vampires. And I say that this is me, her, and Buddy. The little trio of vampires. This is so cute. I probably won't actually use these. I just keep them because I don't want to lose them. So I'll probably just keep them in one of the mugs that I have on my uh, bookshelf. Now for the books that she sent me... For this gift exchange, she sent me Till Death by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I don't know what this is about. You guys know. I don't care. It's Jennifer L. Armentrout. I just want all of her books. I want to read all of her books. I want all of them in physical copy because I may one day get lucky enough to meet her and have her sign all my books. And I want to have all of them. Uh, speaking of Jennifer L. Armentrout, she got me wicked. I already have the audiobook, but again, like I said, I want them all in physical because your girl wants to get her signatures on all of the books one day soon I'm gonna go to somebody's book convention and I'm sure JLA will be there and I want to get her to sign all of Z books the final book that she sent me for Christmas is Geekerella by Ashley Poston or Poston I don't know how to pronounce it but I hear such good things about this and I cannot wait to read this so yeah that is it for all of the items that Tracy over at Vampire Tracy sent me for Christmas and I just want to say thank you so much Tracy I love you to pieces you are one of my favorite and bestest bookish friends Mwah. the next bunch of items that I have here are from a secret Santa gift exchange that I participated in when uh, as a part of my young adult book club for adult readers uh, at the library here in my community and it was just supposed to be like a ten dollar gift exchange but some of these people went overboard I actually stuck to my ten dollars because your girl didn't have money so I hope the person that was my secret Santa and she enjoyed her gifts but anyway first off my secret Santa 
got me some coffee because you guys know I love my coffee. Uh, however, your girl only have an espresso machine. Did I say espresso? Ew, no. Your girl has an espresso machine and so I don't really like medium or light roast coffee with my espresso drink because it just don't taste right. But your girl gonna make it work. I also got some little snackies and I had some chocolate but that it wasn't gonna last that long over in this house just what the final item I have as a part of this particular secret Santa gift exchange is a mug it has my name on it this is just I don't know it was like I said the, the thing was supposed to be ten dollars she bought me some Starbucks coffee a mug and some chocolate I know that was way more than ten dollars I don't know where she got this mug for him but it's a beautiful mug my favorite color is green as well as blue it has all kind of sands in my name and I'm just I'm just obsessed with it and I probably won't drink out of it, you know, unless I'm recording a video and I want to show you guys my bookish mug. So yeah, that was it for my Secret Santa gift exchange as a part of my book club. The next I'm going to show you is another Secret Santa gift exchange I participated in with what a nerd girl says over on Instagram. Unlike a reader in love, I'm not going to link this Sarah's account down because she doesn't do them publicly anymore. She had quite a few gift exchanges, I guess, that happened a few years back and people said they were going to participate and then they never, you know, sent their items out. So she only has a select list of people on Instagram or whatever bookish community that she emails anytime that she's going to do a swap. And if they're going to be in, she knows that she can trust them. So I am a part of that select few because your girl's trustworthy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop being goofy and show you what I got here because this video is really fucking long. Like I said, I collect mugs, so... I have an Accio coffee, you guys know. I don't know why I have all this Harry Potter merch and you girl. I mean, I love the movies, but I ain't, you know, read all the book shit, so I feel kind of bad. But this coffee mug is so adorbs. The second coffee mug, she brought me two coffee mugs. This book exchange was supposed to be 25 to 45 I stayed closer to the $25 range, which now I feel kind of bad. You guys know, every time I put up a, a book swap, I always say I feel bad. I give them what I would want to get but I always feel like I get 10 times better than what I would give I don't know I'm just I'm just like that I used this yesterday I love this mug but it says dear Santa I will be nice after I finish my coffee I hear that this is so cute so this is gonna go I don't even know where it's gonna go because I have no more room in my mug cabinet so yeah and she sent me two books <clears throat> Because in this particular swap, you can send two to four books. I sent two books and a few little bookish goodies. And she sent me two mugs and two books. Like I said, y'all, they be hooking me up with these books that are on my wish list. And I get them books from their wish list, but I can always get their books like paperback or I can find them for the bargain prices. And I feel like they can't buy me any bargain price books because a lot of the books I have on my wish list are all brand new because I fucking have damn near all the books that I ever wanted in the last four or five years so when I put something on a wish list it's literally something that's just come out this year so I feel bad when these people have to buy me brands making new hardcover books even hell the paperbacks are getting expensive the last year so yeah let me show you these books because <laughs> I'd be, I be going all off on a tangent y'all know how I do but the first book is uh, Lauren Oliver's Replica and I think this is her series where you can read it either from Gemma's point of view or Lyra's point of view. I think this is book one. I hope this is book one. Because I think book two has like a purple cover or some stuff like that. She actually could have bought that in paperback, but whatever. The next book is Scythe by Neil Shusterman. I have never read anything by Neil. I own two of his other books, but uh, I hear good things about this book. I actually just put this on my list like three months ago because I watched some uh, booktube videos and somebody raved about this book. So I said, okay, definitely got to put this on my wish list and maybe I can buy it for myself in the future. But somebody else bought it for me. Shout out to all these book swaps. So that is it for what a nerd girl says secret santa uh, book exchange so the next book that i have here is a book that i got for myself as a part of the book of the month book club and um i think that book of the month is great for somebody who can afford to have them charge their card every single month i don't like how they hold their system up like 
they charged me for the month of November and then I didn't want to get charged for the month of December. I was going to keep book of the month, but in order for me to skip it, I couldn't use the credit that I have for November. I don't like that. I'm a girl who shops at Just Fab and um, Adore Me and stuff like that. You can skip every single month. And if you got a credit, you can still use your credit even though you sh you skipped. So I didn't appreciate that. So I immediately canceled because that's how they get you. That's how they get over on you. And, I, and your girl just don't like that. That's a scam to me. That is a scam. Like I can't skip and use my credit. How sway? How? Anyway, again, me and my tangents. <sighs> this book is The Wife Between Us. And honestly, the only reason I even got this is because I had to use my credit. I got this book whatever and I canceled book of the month so shout out to you guys who absolutely love it and it is a good concept but I don't like their whole skipping month to month thing when I've been a part of all these subscription boxes for years that allow you to skip as well as use your credit in the same month so I felt like they were scamming me so your girl got rid of book of the month I'll just have to pay full price or buy my own book outlet okay what do you want Savannah go play CPR Sorry about that guys <laughs> it's been a struggle she uh, knows that I do YouTube so she's trying to be in my video but she has no clothes on so the last items that I have here to show you are a part of a reader and loves Christmas uh, book swap you guys know this is the same person who swaps I participate in every single season um, aside from what a nerd girl wants the one that I just previously showed you Sarah over at a reader and love does swaps every single season and lately she's been adding more and more in so sometimes it's like every other month or you know every single month like right after Christmas she just decided to do a New Year's swap and your girl couldn't afford to even though I wanted to I just really couldn't afford to I'm rambling videos getting kind of long let me show you the items that I got now some of the items I don't have of course because they were snacks and I've had this box for a couple weeks now this, as well as Tracy's uh, bookish goodies that she sent me, were a part of a book unboxing that just, I, I don't know what the hell happened to the footage. But anyway, she gave me some hot cocoa, but this is also peppermint hot cocoa around Christmas time. That's all I really love to drink. If I'm going to drink hot cocoa, it has to have peppermint in it. She sent me some, this cute little handmade soap. Yubaba's uh, bathhouse. She sent me somebody help me out I don't know what this little creature is I'm sure it's something I either read or saw on TV but I just don't I don't know what this is wait a minute is this Krampus I don't know correct me if I'm wrong I don't really look like Krampus but I was just thinking had a little horns and looked like a little Santa bag behind him so yeah anyway uh, she got me this candle here and it is from wickandfable.com and she sent me another candle it's cranberry noel cranberry is a favorite scent of mine she sent me some pencils i actually ended up buying some just like this and put it in my my one of my other swaps so great minds think alike she sent me a michael myers funko pop you guys i'm getting my funko pop game up hey i'll be able to do like Funko Pop collections and or, or Funko Pop hauls or some something along those lines. So uh, I'm gonna show you the books first, and then I will show you the best part of the swab. Yes, I said the best. I know you guys have seen all the goodies that this particular person got me in the swab, but she really went out with one of my Christmas gifts. 
So the first book that I have here to show you is Before She Ignites by Jodi Meadows. I have been so pumped for this book since I first heard about it and I wanted this particular cover. This is an exclusive cover to whatever little book box it is. I'll annotate it because I can't think of it right now. But uh, I remember looking at this months ago and seeing everybody get it with this the the uh, writing and the dragon tail and go and I was like I really want this this cover but your girl can't afford that book box so yeah I actually squealed on the unboxing because I actually really wanted that cover compared to the silver and it's just silver compared to gold but the gold just made it look so much better to me so the next book that they sent me that was actually on my bookish wish list is a book that I have been wanting for a couple months now ever since I heard people talk about it over the summer and they were talking about that it reminded them of fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and I listened to the synopsis and it kind of gave me the fangirl vibes and I was just like yes yes gotta have it I will buy it one day in the future no, I don't have to. And that is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. And I am so here for it. I cannot wait to push through and read this. I'm predicting 2018 to be a really great reading year for me. I really am. The final book that I have here is a book that, while it wasn't on my actual Amazon wish list, it is a book that I've been wanting for a few months. But they gave it to me because it was their favorite book of 2017. And Sarah, over at A Reader and Loves Book Swaps, she tells us to pick two books from our partner's wish list and to pick a book that we want them to read. And for Christmas, it's usually what your favorite book was of whatever year it is. This person sent me The Couple Next Door by Sherry LaPena. I am hope I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, like I said, this wasn't actually on any of my wish lists, but I wanted to read this and I'm happy that I got when this. When we did our swaps, she immediately emailed me and asked me what I felt about bargain books and used books. And I am absolutely, I've always been okay. Like if you want to buy me, you see something on my wish list and you can buy it in paperback or you can find it in the bargain section on whatever website or whatever bookstore. I am all for it because I'm doing the same thing because I would rather have you know, f four books in your book swap and some actual goodies than just like two or three. That's just how I think. So I appreciated that she was the same way. So she sent me books that she already had on her shelf. And I am I am for it because, like I said, these are all brand spanking new and they're all on my wish list and they're all hardcover and your girl is here for it. The item that I have here is my favorite of everything in this book swap. No offense to anybody. It's just something that I've been wanting for a really 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 long time and it's probably one of my favorite fandoms and that is my Doctor Who mug I've been wanting a Doctor Who mug forever you guys forever and this is just the cutest little thing it has the TARDIS on the back and it has a TARDIS on the inside so like the more I drink my coffee or my tea or my hot cocoa the TARDIS will appear and I'm probably gonna be an actual dork and I'm probably gonna play the little TARDIS you know the sound the TARDIS makes when it's appearing. Like, I might find that and, and play it because I'm a geek like that. So, yeah. Like, no offense. I love everything in my book swap. But I've been wanting a TARDIS mug for, like, six years now. Six years now. Um, I'm still going to go out and get the little tea kettle in the actual TARDIS mug shape. But, you know, I, I'm stoked for this because I'm going to be using this a lot in 2018. You're probably going to see this in every single fucking video where I'm drinking coffee or tea. Just just a heads up. So guys, my sangria is gone. And that is it for this extremely long, ranty, all over the place book swap. Hopefully this will be up by Thursday or Friday. I don't know, just depend on how long I can edit it because it's like 42 minutes right now because I've been stopping and doing a lot of shit. Uh, but you guys will see me again because I plan on recording quite a few videos uh, the next five or six days because I go back to work on the 2nd of January but I want to come back with my favorite books of 2017, my least favorite books of 2017, my goals for 2018, my channel goals for 2018. As well as I'm doing some challenges with my friend Lorena. Uh, we're going to do the two times spicy ramen challenge as well as like a taste test. We're going to taste uh, different Asian snacks we have quite a few Asian stores here in Kentucky in my city in Kentucky so we're gonna do some of those videos as well as she is challenging me to step outside of my bookish bubble here on YouTube and record some um makeup looks and actually upload them on YouTube so that is my challenge for 2018 because I've been talking about it for like four months that I want to do non-bookish things with her 
Um, and I've been telling you guys this for like two or three years that I want to do non-bookish things on my channel. And so she's like, okay, well you want to do it, I'm going to challenge you to do it. So she's going to create five looks on her channel and then I have to recreate them and like a get ready with me or whatever. And then I'm going to challenge her to read five books throughout 2018. Just five. She's not a really big reader and I'm hoping by the end of next she'll read like 20 something books and she can get on here and we can talk about it. So after each book she is going to record a little, you know, review of them. So that should be good. She's going to introduce me to the makeup community. I'm going to introduce her to the bookish community and it's just going to be all kinds of fun for 2018. You guys because I've been I don't know what it is, my mental health, and I'm just, I don't know, all of a sudden I'm just pumped for 2018. I'm really excited for those, um, as well as if anybody on here, you know, because a lot of you guys do message me either on Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat. If you guys want to do any type of videos together, just let me know. If you guys want to do like live streams together, let me know. We can hook that up. I really want to do those because I see a lot of people do those and I get so jealous because there's some people on here that I want to do live chats with like actually do the you know where it's like five of us and we're all talking about a book I want to do that shit I want to do it so we need a little group of us smaller booktubers get together and we need to do that okay okay for 2018 we're gonna do that I don't know if I'm gonna hook it up or when you guys can hook it up and just include me but I want to do that so somebody get that going. So guys, that is it. That is really it for this video. As always, all of my social media information will be linked down below. Hit me up on any of those if you want to read any of these books that I received. Like I said, if you want to do any videos together, let your girl know I'm down for it all. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.